Alrighty, week five of season one of the Idaho Dynasty. Previous episode, we lost to Washington State. Thirty-eight twenty-seven, and we have Temple this week. See if we can bounce back. Take a look at this week's uh, polls. This week's coaches poll, Oklahoma and LSU are 1-2. and two. Michigan is 4-0. and oh. Clemson has a loss already. They dropped to number 4. Texas is 5. Oregon, Washington, Alabama. UCF is number 9. Notre Dame. Rounds out the top 10. Vatex 4-0. Auburn is number 12. Florida lost to Tennessee. Georgia lost to North Texas. Got thumped by North Texas. How the heck does that happen? <laughs> Texas A&M. Ohio State. Iowa State, Utah, Michigan State, Tennessee, Penn State, Virginia, Mississippi State, Florida State, and Miami round out the top 25. Hello from the Kibbe Dome. NCAA Football 14 pregame show presents by Nissan. Nissan, innovation that excites. There is one primary mission for Idaho, vandalize the opposition. The Vandals are on the field, getting loose. They know this is a huge chance and one that they don't want to blow at home. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oh, that's a problem. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. They're running right over us so far. Gardner will run it again. Jeez. a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed. With Not a good start. Defense, 
All right, finally blew up a little bit. My God. All right, string them out. That's better. That's better. Way to stand up for yourselves. No, 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 no. Oh, you dopes. You see, yes. Minnesota and Iowa square off in the battle for the grandest of all prize pigs, Floyd of Rosedale. Rivalry is the essence of the sport, and cutting the other guy's guts out figuratively, of course, makes it all the more pleasurable. The Golden Gophers get the win, 17-14. All right, come on, fight, 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 fight. All right, let's tempo it up now. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow. What the hell the pop? Go, 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 go. And down at the 22 yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. He almost shook himself out of there. My goodness. And he's taken down at the 14 yard line. It's pound away, pound away, baby. There we go. Good answer. Good answer. That's a big matchup, huh? Neither one's giving an inch. We could be headed. Oh, a little Got a man. quick screen, huh? Tackle made. At a... He's on the run. That's big. Hassan Crawford. QB kind of ran right into him. <laughs> and then there's a drawn out stumble. Come on. And down he goes at the All right, what will they do here? Kind of a no man's land. After that long pickup, huh? Screen, huh? Yep, they botched that one. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Like some kind of cross screen. Might be a broken play. Oof. Got met there. Ah, oh, terrible ball. Threw it to the outside of him. Okay, let's make it happen. We'll tempo out of empty a little bit. A quarterback in the gun with 
five receivers. Should be good here. Got a good look for this. And he drops the ball. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do your thing. Oh, that's a fast moving first quarter. All right, magical third down. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking. Yeah, that ain't on the QB. Come on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Way to stand up for yourself. Way to stand up for yourself. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh. And they make the stop at the 39. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Clearly, there was a breakdown in the blocking scheme, and when that happens, it's so much tougher to make a good throw. Big play. Almost brought it all the way back. There we go. Oof. That stood up. Where am I? Can my kicker make this? Uh, barely gets it there. I need to shore up the run, D. <laughs> we run blitz to the right, they run to the left, of course. No one's open, go get him. Here we go, had him spied. Coyote Rufai. Oh my goodness. He's at the 30. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. One on one. All right. Good job. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to tackle. Oh my god. Get him. There we go. Good stand. Good stand. And he hits him hard at the 12. Because up. Oh, it's good. Wow, that's a case of a distinct lack of team speed.
Ugh, that's embarrassing. Need that. There we go. Big conversion. Okay. That's better. Patrol Haywood, you got run down by a defensive end on a motion bubble sweep. But you're being sure-handed otherwise. Ugh. Alright, we're working it. Uh, get rid of the ball. Damn it. Ah. Didn't really have anywhere to go with that. Does he have enough? Ah, just weak arm. That's just a lack of arm strength. That's just a lack of arm talent. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the thirty five. Tackle. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Oh my gosh. We weren't set. Oh my goodness. Oh, that last play really hurt. Wow, no timeout. Wow, what a mistake. Wow. Dodge the bullet there. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they know where they're supposed to go. So I think it is important. And the coaches, sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But... Sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well that they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances, come up on the plus side of it, create a big turnover, set your offense up on the right side of the field. How about you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Oof. All right. Just got blown up. That'll happen. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. It's caught. 
There we go. Soft corner. Take advantage. All right. Nice little stick concept there. Port does take you down to the botch height of the run. Went to a little quick. And it was ran quick. Madden. Ooh. Whoa. Petrino almost got... Almost got glitchy. Beautiful. A little dart read option there. Go, 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 go. That was pretty. Yeah, some Cleo Four. I've got some giddy up to him, huh? There we go. Let's take the lead and not look back. Ah, the Irish fell short. Run D is a bit suspect, but you're doing all, an all right job. Sit down. All right, come on, tighten up. And he's level at the 32 yard line. Jeez. Gets out to around the 18. You didn't answer. Come on. Ah. Uh... Tackle around the six yard line. And jeez. Oof. Not good, gentlemen. Not good. There we go. Need that. Makes it out to about the 40. Yeah, the play before the end of the quarter. He won't. All right, on to the fourth quarter we go. Come on. Hang on. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Go, 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 go. And there we go. Punch it in. All right, let's not let them run the ball down our throats, please. Oh, my goodness. Boom. All right, we're being a little bit more stout down there now. Let's 
Let's go. Let's go. Really nice. Of course, it's been all game. Uh, all right, I'm probably going to go for this. And they get it. <sighs> Cripe. Quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It looks like they're going to blitz. Well, oh, third and inches again. I'm throw. Oh my gosh. Okay. Quite a break there. Damn it. Great tackle. The seven yard line. Good tackle. Great tackle. Way to stand up for yourself. Way to stand up for yourself. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my God. I think they had last quarter. Let's go. All right. One first down ends the game. There it is. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. We got it. That'll do it. QB kneel time. Nothing more this one's in the All right, we pulled that one out. Well, that was close. That's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad. You're a pain in the ass to stop on the ground. We did just enough and squeaked that one out. That was big, too. A shaky day for the QB. Only got sacked one time through a couple of INTs. Kian Martinez was the player of the game that game. 90 yards on a couple of TDs. Our receivers just, they're just, you know, slow plotters. They're not really explosive at all, at all as we've seen. Christian Ellis, the middle linebacker, 10 tackles, 10 solo tackles, and a sack. That's a big day, huh? We had three sacks in the day. One by Ellis, one by Rashawn Crawford, and one by Noah Ellis. And one INT by Jalen Hoover. They yeah, outgained me 384 to 314. They had a buck 54 on the ground. We had a buck 52. Pretty even game stats wise. 
we had to be forced to turnovers, and that turned out to be the difference. Got Fresno State next. They're off to a one and three start. But all these games are going to be tight, or should be tight, given you know the talent level that I'm playing with. Fresno State, then we go to Arkansas State. We have a bye, then we have Ole Miss, which I should get pummeled in. Texas State, Old Dominion, another bye. Florida State, and then New Mexico. Let's look at some stats. Mason Petrino, I call him Poor Man Mariota. I'm running the Oregon uh, playbook, and he wears number eight. I feel it's fitting. 6 TD, 6 INT, 63 yards completion percentage. He's a senior. He's got 182 rushing yards as well. Got 71 speed with 89 acceleration, 70 throw power, and 68 throw accuracy, which you see on display. Both the power and the accuracy are not good at all, as we have seen. Kian Martinez, true freshman, 481 yards, 5.2 yards per pop, and 6 TDs, 81 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 agility, 65 break tackle, 80 juke, 80 spin. And Khalil Forehand, another freshman, he's a redshirt freshman. He's got 87 speed, 94 acceleration. Receiving unit, Jeff Cotton has three touchdowns, along with uh, Jonte Blossom. They're both seniors, God help me. You know, not very fast at all. Good acceleration, and just, you know, what you would expect for catching and route running and all that stuff. There's just no explosiveness to be found whatsoever. Christian Ellis, junior linebacker, having a pretty good season. Three sacks, 41 tackles, 41 solo tackles, and INT. You got 76 zone coverage, which is not that bad. 78 tackling, 80 awareness, 71 speed, 89 acceleration. Not awful. What are the standouts do I have here on defense so far? Noah Ellis. Five sacks. He's got 91 power move, 91 block shedding. Slow as dirt, but he's a 347-pound left end. I mean, what can, you, what, what can you do? I'll take the sack numbers and be happy with it. Sean Crawford, three sacks. He's got 88 block shedding, 88 power move. Again, slow as, slow as dirt. Low-key good block shed and pass rush move range along my defensive line. 83 block shedding, 83 power move. They're not very athletic. But, you know, we're freaking Idaho. We shouldn't be that athletic. Now we have a couple of guys with four INTs, so that's a big W. We rebound from our loss. We had a recruiting visit as well in that game. So that you get a recruiting bonus for winning those type of games. So, you know, We'll see how that goes throughout the season. I'll do a video on recruiting probably on my bye week. So that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.